Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to viewers to some more Stormworks. Uh, we're at the creative base because I've got something creative to show you. Um, let's go ahead and jump in. Um, real quick, let's see, let's get rid of, uh, I, I started a new world because we needed a world without the add-ons. Uh, so we've got a brand new world here. Uh, we'll override the time, we'll do all that. Uh, just so you guys can see, we are in a new world here. We've got, oh, what is all of this? Safe zones, okay. We can, uh, we can clean all vehicles, clean raise, reveal the map, unlock all properties, and we should be able to do, okay, we'll get infinite electric on, and I think that's everything we need. Okay, let's jump over to the workbench real quick. All right, so we're in a world without add-ons. Uh, this is a regular world, no, uh, no, no additional things needed, uh, and we're gonna go fishing with nets. Uh, so I'm really excited to try this. Jerry FanFan Fan sent me a message the other day and he sh showed me some pictures of what he had actually done. And I'm actually curious to try this out. So what we're gonna do is actually, let's load our boat in. Let's load our fishing boat in. Uh, we'll use this as the platform. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna delete all of this. We don't need any of this. Let's do mirror mode, that'll make it easier. We don't need any of this. All right, all that is out of the way. We still need our rigging, which is fine. We'll use that. Uh, but what we're gonna need is, uh, let's see, we're gonna have to have a way to build off of this. So let's go to our pivots. We're just gonna drop a pivot right here and then we'll come off and we'll give us an area, say right there to build off of. All right, so there's our new block, perfect. All right, from here, let's build out. And I wanna build out as wide as this is, all right. Pretty close, uh, I think that's pretty good. We wanna make sure how we actually have a big opening here. So let's get ourselves an anchor. Let's spell it right, anchor. All right, so we'll go a couple anchors there. All right, I'm gonna try and copy this as close to his model as possible. So let's see, let's get our railing segments. We're gonna do this. I think this is how it was done. And then it was like, it's like this? No, like that, that works. Uh, let's get some railings to cross here. We'll go across there go across there and then let's make the net a little bigger why is that not working why can't i attach to that let's attach to this one first there we go we'll come out the, about about there really and we're just trying to make an, an opening to catch uh to catch fish in and what this is doing is this is reducing the weight of the actual area that we're dragging but the fish can't go through these this is acting like a solid wall for these guys okay so let's copy this let's take this we're gonna flip it around somewhere in like so I feel like this could be a little bigger. Let's uh, let's build the bottom first. I think we're gonna need something down here to build off of, something like that. And then we can come in here and we can delete, whoops. Let's delete this. We'll get ourselves a hopper. Uh, and I think he was using the small ones for this, which means you'll have to pull your nets in more often. But I think as far as from a weight standpoint, this is better. And why can't I get this to go down in the right area? Uh, we're gonna have to build something off of here to do that. So I'm curious about using the actual larger hoppers, but I'm gonna build this exactly the way I saw it built. That way you guys can understand what's going on here. All right, perfect. So now we've got that. Let's get rid of, we need to get rid of all of this, all of this, all of this. And these are actually, they're one block up here. So they're like right there, which is fine. That gives us more room to, uh, the build here we'll get rid of that um railings across this way we can just copy this piece here and go across like that i think that should be good and we'll do the same thing across there like so and now we can copy these guys we'll copy all of that come on copy all of you copy let's turn it around paste it perfect merge it come on where are we at merge Get rid of these blocks just so they don't float because they do kind of tend to do that. And I guess what we can do for these corners to try to clean these up a little bit, we'll just throw some pipes here and that'll make it look like everything's connected. You don't need it, but it just, it adds to it. And we can, oh, we've got some uh, across here to do. Can we get in here and trap these fish? Come on, how do I want to do this? Maybe like this, let's flip it. Okay, so I'm gonna put some blocks in here. I have something to work off of. Can I not put a block right there? Why is this? Oh, this railing comes all the way to here. Okay, makes sense now. Okay, what if we try it like this? All right, perfect, railing's all done. Let's make sure that we, let's take these off. Okay, so it's zero there. Now the idea of this is you drag this through the water, the fish get caught in here, and then the railings force them into the corners, into the hoppers. Uh, that's the way I've seen this working, so that's the way I'm hoping this is going to work. Uh, so let's hook up this to here. We're gonna hook up this to here this to here and that to there i hope this works we're gonna find out or maybe these to here yeah i think these to here 
Come on, let's get this right. Come on, these to here and these to here. This might be the way we need to do it. Okay, cool. Um, radio system is, I just broke it. Um, so I'm not gonna know what's in our nets if we're actually catching anything. Let me get it, give me just a second. Let me hook all that back up and then, uh, and then we should be good to go here. All right, I got my microcontroller here. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. I'm just gonna put it on both sides just for, uh, just for weight issues here. Um, I wanna make sure the thing drags the right way and let's get ourselves an antenna. Nope, it's called RX, which makes no sense. All right, small antenna right here. What we'll do is we'll hook hopper level in the net amount, transmit on frequency, data send the output. Don't need electric, don't need audio, don't need any of that. Okay, so we'll know if some is in this one, but not in this one. That's all right. Um, at least we'll know if we're actually catching stuff. So let's uh let's get this in the water and let's actually try this out. How does that okay? This is gonna be interesting because I don't know how my nets are gonna drag. Um, we're just gonna have to experiment with this and then uh, we might be changing some uh some lengths here. All right, let's get going. All right, we are kind of dragging it. Let's go ahead and figure out what it looks like when it's in the water. Okay, come on, come on now. Net down outriggers. Okay, so that's gonna pull it forward like I wanted it to. So hopefully once it releases a little bit more rope, come on. There we go, there we go, there we go. Is it dragging like I want it to? Yes! Okay, this is good, this is actually working. This is actually dragging it the way I wanted it to. Let's get over here and actually look at it underwater. Come on, grab the helm. Come on, grab the helm. There you go, you know you can. So there we go, now we just gotta uh, make sure that we get into the range of the fish, which it looks like we are right now. Um, let's get over here and let's stop this. What is this? That's our arms. All right, so we're just dragging for fish now. Let's see what, uh, let's see what we get here. All right, I think I was going too slow. I just went back and checked my messages and uh, Jerry said, get it up to 18 meters a second to be able to catch fish. Uh, I think the fish are just uh, too smart and they, they swim away from the net. But it looks like we're actually going a little faster now, but it looks like we need to lower our net some. It looks like it's a little too high. Uh, so let's go do that. Oh, we got one in the net. Look, 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 there's one in there. There's one in there. Is it gonna make, oh, so it's causing, okay, so I see what's happening and I see what Jerry was talking about. Um, I need to make this thing where the bottom lines are tighter so this thing is on a angle and then that will actually cause him to go and get into the, into the actual hopper. But proof of concept, we did actually just catch a fish with the handrails uh, right there. Uh, we've got fish in the net. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back. I wanna revamp this a little bit. I think I'm gonna make the net bigger um, just for the sake of testing this out. And then we're gonna try and figure out this rope thing. Um, I have to put these uh, controls on different different buttons so we can actually uh, adjust this accordingly. But it, proof of concept, we have caught a fish using rails. Uh, now, if we can just angle it, angle it right, uh, we should be able to get a fish into our hopper. Awesome, I'm so excited about that. Okay, let's, uh, let's pull this in. I actually wanna pull this all the way in. Yeah, see how the he's being pulled into that corner. So you know what, we could put hoppers in both corners. Maybe that's what we do. Maybe we just put hoppers in each corner and then no matter what the net is doing, it'll just catch the fish. Let's take it back. All right, I've fixed the net. I've added hoppers into the corners here and I've fixed the microcontroller too so that we can read all hoppers at the same time. Uh, should be able to uh, actually get this thing working now. Let's get out to sea. And we wanted that magic number of 18 plus. Uh, I think that's the number that we're finding out that fish can't swim uh, away from. There we go, 18, 19, and let's try and get a 20 just to be safe. There we go, let's go let our net down. All right, net down. Seems a little wonky right now. Hopefully when it hits the water, it will be a little more even. Come on, net, come on, get below the surface. Here we go, now it's working, now it's working. Okay, now that it's low, let's get our outriggers out. That should change the angle in which it's attacked. There we go. Perfect, now we just gotta get it down to a level in which the fish are at. I've got so many extra, like, random blocks around here now. We gotta take care of those. All right, so we're just gonna watch this go down. Looks like it's just got a few more meters to go before we're in this, like, little area here that it, uh, it will trap some. And it looks like right in this area here. Okay, so let's go ahead and, uh, let's stop this. And we're just gonna wait. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll catch some fish here soon. Hopefully this, uh, this method worked a little better. All right, because this is a little slower than the add-on because we're actually just in base vanilla game here, uh, it is taking a little longer to catch stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna let this run for a little bit. We're just gonna, uh, we're gonna putt along here and uh, get some stuff done. Uh, actually, we're not gonna get anything done. Uh, we're just gonna putt along until we start catching some fish. We just caught one. We just caught one, you guys. We just caught one. Is this working? Come on. Net capacity is one. Okay, sweet. 
uh let's just uh let's take a little look down here on the net let's keep it right here and let's just uh see if we can catch any more all right so we've been fishing for a little while we've got four fish in the net it's not a lot but it's uh it's something uh we could probably improve on this we could probably uh make a bigger net honestly i don't know how we'll uh how we'll get it up onto the deck and unload i don't even know how we'll get this one on the deck and unload other than just pulling it up here and dealing with it but we're not set up for this net style on our boat anymore but proof of concept it does work which is really awesome uh i like this idea i like the ability to be able to do things in uh in vanilla without having to have add-ons i, I love the add-ons add-ons are nice they do fix the game uh, but we can do things in base game it's really it's really cool it's really fun um so this works this this is working um this could be improved on i'm sure you guys can come up with some a, a lot of crazier ideas uh for me i'm going to upscale this as big as we can get it and then we're gonna go out here and do this again all right as you can see i've paid a few more cents to uh upsize this thing and uh it is nice and large now let's go ahead and let's get the boat moving uh and let's see if we've increased our efficiency on this i i doubt much is going to change with this um just because of the way fish mechanics work in vanilla uh but hopefully we should catch more bigger net bigger surface area let's get our speed up here come on sure we'll keep it at 20 eh, let's go a little less because we can do less there we go all right let's go hook up our nets and drop them in the water yeah, there's no way we're getting this thing back on the boat to be able to unload. Um, but it's more of a proof of concept. We're more just testing today. All right, let's drop this net out. All right, the outriggers are out. The net is going back. Oh, and it's uh, it's really got some angle on it now. Look at it. But that's what we need. We need some sort of angle so that the fish will slide to the corners. So this this is this is technically working. Okay, so let's uh let's stop our net. I think we should be good at this range. And let's uh let's watch for a little bit. See if we catch anything. I actually think we need to go a little lower. I think we're skimming right over top of these guys. Let's drop it down just a little bit more. Oh, we've already got a fish. We've already caught one. So I feel like we're at a better uh, we're at a better distance now. And we just scooped them right up, didn't we? This also makes me wonder if you could catch sharks like this. If you just happen to skim along and catch a sh if a shark would get caught in this, uh, you could you could theoretically uh, trap them and have a shark in a cage. That would be kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna just let this, uh, I'm gonna let this run for a little bit longer, just like we did the other one, and, uh, wait, net capacity is zero now. How do we lose a fish? How do we lose a fish out of the hopper? That doesn't make sense. Three, okay, we've gained them back. All right, so we are getting fish. Yeah, look at him, he's trapped in there, he's trapped, look. And he's trying to swim. The net goes kind of back and forth, so it forces him into the corner. Oh, we got another fish. And then into the hoppers they go. Awesome, this works exactly as it was sold to me, you guys. So, very cool. A special thanks to Jerry Fan Fan again for showing me this. Uh, you didn't have to show me this. I really do appreciate it. This is really cool. Oh, we've got another fish in there. Look, so this seems to be an ideal net set. Oh, we got another fish. Man, we're really starting to catch them now. Um, so yeah, this seems to be a really, oh, we got another fish. Cool, well, we're just racking them up here now, you guys. Um, so this seems to be a way that really, you can see it tilting the net here. Um, this is vanilla, no add-on way of catching extra fish. Um, I still feel like rod and reel is faster with this, but if you're just skimming along and you're just going on missions and you're doing this as kind of a passive, uh, this would be a great way to, you know, supplement some income. If you're going on those, uh, those missions, putting out fires, things like that. Uh, this could be really cool. So again, thanks Jerry fan fan for showing me this. I really do appreciate it. And you guys, if you have any questions, comments about this, let me know down below, uh, throw a like on this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And yeah, uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Let's catch this last fish here Whoop. into the net.